start pulling these uh, these these blocks from our emoji tower. All right, well, hello, Fuse. I'm just gonna live dangerously because it'll be fun to see it fall. All right, here we go. I'm not too familiar with the emoji game, but what would I call this, just old guy? Okay, cool, old guy. What do you want to accomplish before you retire? I don't have a really good answer for that. I mean, I think my goal really is to never retire, so that's probably my best uh, version of this this career would be one where I just am playing songs until the day I die. So, not to get all mor morose on you guys. Next, we're gonna do... Uh, let's do... Oh, oh yeah, we're going for the anchor. What or who keeps you anchored and humble? Definitely my wife and my and my my daughter Cecilia. They're the uh, the sort of neutralizing, sort of calming uh, force in my life. That goes without saying, but I've said it. I mean, let's just. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go. Flower. What is your favorite flower? I have a favorite flower. I'm not too macho to admit it. Obviously, I'm not macho at all. It is a hydrangea. I like white hydrangeas. Oh yeah. Okay, it's our goat. Which one of your singles is the greatest of all time? In the theme of family, I'll, I'll go with Cecilia and the Satellite. That was a monumental song for me. It was kind of my first official like hit, if you can say that. And it happens to be about my life and my daughter and everything else. So I, I, I'll, I'll go with that. It seems like the humble answer. Okay, let's go. To, we're gonna move to this side. Let's go with ice cream. My favorite flavor of ice cream. This is. Pretty boring, but I'm a mint, I'm a mint chocolate chip guy. I don't know. You get me some mint chocolate chip, I'm a happy man. All right. I believe this is Prince, right? No, who is this? What do we got here? Just disco guy. He looked like the purple one, you know. Which of your tracks is the best to dance to? Well, <laughs> shameless plug for the current single. So close is a dance party and a half. Come to the stage today. You will find out. The key is going to be. This is a dangerous move, but I'm. Oh yeah, there's no way that's moving. What, is this the speech bubble here? Oh, it does not want to go. Come on now. Yeah, that's not moving. Let's try the key. Oh, oh, this is ill-advised. Okay, here we go. Why not? I mean, it's sitting here staring us in the face. Let's just give it a shot. Come on now. Oh. Ha-ha, all right. What is your number one tip for using porta potties at festivals? Go barefoot every time. Every time. My tour manager the other day used a porta potty barefoot, and we've been harassing him ever since. All right, the key is possible. We're going. Oh, oh, this thing wants to go. All right, here we go. What are you low key working on at the moment? Ooh, not much to be honest. There's been this idea that a buddy of mine that I worked with, uh, we've been sort of kicking around the idea of doing like a, a musical. So there is like. A, about every six months I write one thing for that. So I give it about 25 years and you'll hear what that's all about. Yeah, this is gonna go. Oh. Ah! Thank you, Fuse. That was very clever of you. Fuse's coverage of Lollapalooza is brought to you by Twix. It's time to decide which side are you.